Welcome, everybody, to the College Football Weekly Pick'em Show <clears throat> here on the Grueling Truth Radio Network. Um, the Grueling Truth College Football Weekly Pick'em Show is brought to you by mybookie.ag. Um, I can give you a little personal experience with this. I actually won a parlay on a couple NFL games, won $111, and had the money within 48 hours. Um, my bookie's been in business for years. The reputation is rock solid. They do 100% cash bonuses. So if you go on there and hit in CFB Weekly, you will actually get 100% cash bonus on everything you put in for your initial deposit. Um, so make sure you check them out. You can catch the link on thegrillingtruth.net or just go to mybookie.ag. All right, I'm the host for the College Football Weekly Pick'em Show, who sounds like I might be losing my voice, but I don't think I am. Mike Goodpaster, and I want to welcome in my co-host, first up, former Alabama offensive lineman under Bear Bryant, Bill Searcy. How you doing, Bill? Hey, I'm good, man. And so you just told me what my record was last week. I was even better. Well, last week, you, neither one of us were very good, I don't think. But this week, you were 7-7, you, you were seven and seven, so it was better than the week yeah. before. Yeah. You know, we all had a rough time the week before. And, of yeah, course, the big loser last week was Brian Schmidt, who was 0-14. How you doing, Brian? Well, I'm good. I, 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 I call that 0-14, considering the fact that I, w- I wasn't able to be here and nobody told me what games we were picking, so I, I'm filing a protest. But you could have been here. <laughs> I couldn't have been here. You could have. So I could have. I wish. I always miss when I always, always hate when I can't do these shows. I miss them, so. Well, I'll t- I tell you what protest is working well for people lately, and that's kneeling during the National Anthem. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kneel during the show. <laughs> and I'm going to sing the National Anthem, so that will be a nice one for you. Well, I, mean, I would think that Bill singing the National Anthem. I've never heard Bill sing, but my guess is that's probably going to be more disrespectful to the NFL than anybody. <laughs> you, got, you, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead. We'll get into this week. We'll start off with Clemson at Syracuse. Clemson got a good win against a solid Wake Forest team last week. I think think it was 28-14. to Uh, We'll start off with Bill. Bill, Clemson is favored by 22-and-a-half at Syracuse. I got to go with – I got to run with Clemson still. Uh, I thought last week, you know, they they played decent against an average team, and Clemson still hadn't had that one game – where they are uh, fall apart, and I don't know if they'll have one this year, but they usually lose one. So, but I'm gonna stick with them this week against Syracuse. Well, if you look last year, even when they won the national championship, they had a ton of close calls in the regular season. So, yeah, yeah so I think this team's ready to go to the Final Four again. Um, Brian Clemson minus twenty two and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna take Clemson. Uh, this. I, I don't want to say this is a better team than last year, but in some regards, this is a better team than last year. Uh, a little bit better defensively. I think I think offensively, well, I mean, obviously, no Deshaun Watson. Uh, they don't turn the ball over. They they do some decent things offensively. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to have close games. And, and this may not be as talented as this team as last year, but yet, I think just a better team. While they may not have the talent, I think overall just maybe a better team in some ways. So uh, this they're they're one of my top four right now. All right, I got one for you. I think they're one of my top four, but I'm taking Syracuse into points. I think it's at oh. Syracuse. I think Syracuse is a better team than what people realize. I, I think they could lose this game by just 20 points, which means they'll cover. But I, I, we've talked about how Clemson sometimes will play down to their competition, maybe the game closer. And I think for Syracuse, this is their biggest game here in a few years. I think they're going to be able to keep this game close for a while. I think they'll cover, but I think Clemson still wins the game by 14 to 20 points. Um, the next game, the Washington State Cougars, 14-point favorites at Cal. Which brings up, if you want to hear a Cal legend, we got Wesley Walker on the NFL Grueling Truth Legends show this week, so make sure you check that out. But Washington State is favored by 14 over Cal. Brian, who do you like here? Washington State. Uh, this team, uh, I got I got to uh, watch them play this this past weekend. This is this is the typical mike leach of how he you know how he built texas tech and how he's built washington state that first that first three or four years they they hover around 500 while he he gets that 
that talent that matches what he wants. And then now all of a sudden, you know, Texas Tech, I think it was his fifth, sixth year. I mean, they, they were 8-9-0 at one point. Uh, this is a good football team and a better team defensively than they've been at any point. Uh, yeah, and I think not that's a great difference here, Brian. Yes, yeah, it's absolutely the big this, difference. I don't think this is a typical Mike Leach team because – I watched a little bit of their game last week, and they dang near look like they're better on defense than they are offense at times. Yeah, they're they're very good on defense. Now, um, I mean, I, I, having watched them play quite a bit, I mean, they're pretty good offensively. But defensively, this this may be the best defensive team he's had, and that includes maybe his time at Texas Tech. That the the team that went. Uh, 11, 11 and one, twelve and one, the one year. I think, you know, they were decent defensively, but they got a lot of mileage out of the fact they had an offense that averaged fifty points a game. Uh, this team is better defensively. Uh, offensively, they're pretty darn good. And you know, if anybody out there wants to watch a great, great press conference and in about a two minute 47 clip it's on espn of mike leach's press conference today talking about playoff system in in in, uh, college football absolutely one of one of the best two minutes you will ever listen to uh it it was really well worth listening to And, and and the guy is hilarious but everything he said i think was spot on all right bill washington state favored by 14 over cal I'm rolling I'll tell you, Washington State. It's my State. turn to pick. I'm taking Washington State. Go ahead, Bill. <laughs> no, I say I'm, I'm rolling with Washington State because I'm a big fan of the Pirates, uh, Mike Leach, and all of his interviews are fantastic, like Brian said. And if you've never heard the interview, and I may have said this before, if you've never heard the interview where they ask him what was the best party he ever attended, just Google that one, and that's that's a pretty good four or five minute roll, roll too. Uh, where he talks about being in Gulf Shores, Alabama, at the Florida Bama Bar. But, uh, yeah, Mike Leach and Washington State, definitely. Yeah, the Gulf Shores, that's a place I always wanted to go. But it's always really expensive down there, Bill. No, nah, well, it's better this time of year, man. All season, you can get you can get some pretty decent rates, and it's still beautiful down there. You know, it's yeah, the still temperature's warm, still good. Over. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you never know. It could be warm on uh, Christmas Day, you know, so yeah. it's – there's a lot of Christmases down this way, you know, 75 degrees on Christmas Day. So, uh, But this is a great time of year to be down there. It's not crowded and prices are a little better. All right, the next game, I guess i got to pick this one first, which I hate because I think this is one of the tougher games to pick because I think Texas Tech's a solid team. They're going to West Virginia. West Virginia's favored by three. I'm going to go with the Mountaineers just because they're the home team here, and I think they're a good team. Um, Bill? Same with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the home team, uh, simply because it is the home team, and that place gets pretty uh, pretty fired up. So I'll I'll go with uh, West Virginia. All right, Brian. I'm gonna be the contrarian here. I'm gonna go with Texas Tech. Uh, a great. Yeah, off, this is a team that you know. Obviously, they've always been very good offensively. Uh, they're a little bit not not a lot. They are a little bit better defensively than they've been in the past, which that's not a that's not a huge stretch. Uh, but there's something about this team that uh, they're just they're just a little bit better, and I think a little bit better than West Virginia is right now. I think West Virginia is a good team, but I think Texas Tech may be a little bit better. And 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 this is this is a signature game and a huge game for Texas Tech and especially Kling, uh, Kingsbury because. Uh, they've done well, and, and I think every year since he's been there, they've done well in that first five or six games, and all of a sudden they go in the tank. And this is a huge test game for him and that, and, and that team to go ahead and get a win here to, to really kind of solidify that they have turned the corner. All right, next game's your Schmitty. The Horned Frogs from Texas Christian University are six-point favorites at Kansas State. Yeah, to, uh, TCU. Uh, Really, really good, and, and I'll tell you, I, I've been a big Patterson fan uh, for a lot of years in terms of what what he's done there, and 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 they're they're a good football team, uh, and I and I think they will definitely uh, uh, do well in Kansas State. Yeah, I'm going to go with Brian on this one, Bill. What do you think? TCU minus I'm, six against Kansas State. Yeah, I'm chiming in with you guys. I'm going with TCU too. Uh, 
not uh, – they're very underrated in my parts of the world, but they got a great team, so I'm going with them. All right, next game's yours, Bill. Florida State minus seven at Duke. Hmm. <laughs> Florida State at Duke minus seven. Why am I having a hard time picking this one? Um, Mike Krzyzewski is a really good coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to roll with that. Uh, you don't really know how good Florida State is, and their offensive uh, line has been so bad. Their offensive line is atrocious. Um, that poor guy at quarterback's been uh, uh, I'm going to go with Florida State. Don't ask me why, but I am. All right. I'm going to go with Bill. I'm going to go with Florida State also. I know it's probably getting boring since we're all agreeing all the time, but – what's, I just what's the line? What, it, what? Seven. Oh, I was going to ask you what the line is on this game again. Minus seven. And the reason I'm going with Florida State is just the beating Miami put on Duke. I don't think Duke is physical enough. I don't think they're going to be able to stop Florida State enough, even though State's line's a little rough. But I'm going to go with Florida State, Brian. <sighs> Man, and this this is where it's up because I I want to go with Duke, uh, just because Florida State just has not impressed me at the least. And, and you know what? I am I'm going to go with Duke. Uh, Florida State may win this game, but I think Duke is going to cover. I think it's going to be a decent game. All right, the next game we get the Utah Utes at USC. USC is favored by thirteen. Um, I guess I'm going first on this one. That's a lot of points, but I'm going to go with USC. Not willingly, but I'm not convinced about Utah either. Brian? Yeah, I'm the same with you. I I, I don't want to go with USC because I, I'm just not sold, but uh, I, I'm not real sold on uh, on uh, USC or Utah either, so I'll go with USC. All right, Bill. And I'll be the contrarian and go with the Utes simply because an old teammate's son plays defense on the Utes. So uh, that's the way I'm going. All right, next game. Brian, I think this is this has become an interesting game over what's happened the last few weeks. Oklahoma minus 7.5 at Texas. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I'm uh, – I'm going, to, I'm going to go with Texas in this. Uh, the one thing with Texas is they, they've, they've gotten better from that, that week one craziness. They, they've gotten better. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm, Tom Herman is, is, is a great head coach, and, I mean, he proved it at Houston. He, he's going to prove it here. Uh, Utah, or I'm sorry, uh, Oklahoma, you know, they – that loss hurts. It's still a good team, but, but I like this Texas team. I, I think that they will uh, – they may not win this game outright, but they'll cover. All right, Bill. Yeah, I think for the – Texas is going to cover, I think. I think they're getting better. They're, they've got a great coach, and they just need a little bit of – little inspiration, I think. So I, I think they'll cover. And uh, and this one in Oklahoma coming off of pretty uh, – I'm sure a pretty shocking uh, loss for them. So I'll take the long ones. Yes, I'm, I'm going to go with Oklahoma. I just can't take a team that lost to Maryland at home. And I know it was a while back, and I do think Tom Herman is going to do a great job there. They're probably going to be in a bowl game this year. But I'm going to go with Oklahoma to come out and Baker Mayfield to put up some big numbers. Um, the next game, we've got the Ohio State Buckeyes, favored by 24 at Nebraska, Bill. I'm going to take Nebraska. I'm, take, I'm taking right. the points, Nebraska, and their new athletic director. All right, I'm going to take Ohio State, and I'm going to give to 24. I don't think Nebraska is very good at all. Um, I think the quarterback play is weak. It's been weeks since Tommy Frazier graduated. So I'm going to take <laughs> Ohio State. Um, Brian. Uh, I'm going to take uh, Ohio State's going to win, but I'm going to take I'm going to take Nebraska in the points. Uh, Ohio State's playing better, but I, I'm still I'm still not sold on on them. And uh, playing Nebraska in Nebraska, well, you you you're going to win that game. It's still I I think that point spread's a little bit too high. 
All right, guys, we're going to take a break and check out mybookie.ag and come back with the second half of our slate of games. We'll be back in a minute. We'll get back to the podcast in just about a minute here, but first, football season is here, and if you're one of those fans of the NFL, the CFL, or college football who likes to make things interesting on game day, be sure to check out the offerings at mybookie.ag, a sponsor of the Grueling Truth Network. My bookie reminds you that where you're betting is just as important as what you're betting on. MyBookie.ag offers the full range of point spreads, lines, odds, futures, proposition bets, and parlays on NFL, CFL, and FBS games that you'd find at any proper sports book online or off. They've also got the very trendy and exciting in-game live betting options as well. MyBookie offers all first-time players a 100% deposit bonus, thereby doubling your initial bankroll, and MyBookie accepts players from worldwide, including the U.S. and Canada. MyBookie.ag offers 24-hour mobile lingual customer service and chat, plus a handy app for your mobile device. Best of all about MyBookie.ag, though, is the payout time. MyBookie promises payouts to your account within two business days of request. So, the next time you're wagering on football, or baseball, or basketball, or soccer, or any major sport, really, check out MyBookie.ag, sponsor of the Grueling Truth. Use promo code CFBPIX or NFL picks to get a 100% match bonus on your first deposit. That's promo code CFBPICKS or NFL PICKS. Thank you, and please always play responsibly. All right, guys, we're back with the College Football Weekly Pick'em Show on the Grueling Truth Sports Network. I'm your host, Mike Goodpasser, sitting here, former Alabama offensive lineman Bill Searcy and Brian Schmidt. Um, let's go ahead and go to our next game. We've got – who's up to pick? I think me. Arkansas is at Alabama. Alabama's favored by 28. Um, I'm going to take Arkansas on the points – just so I know somebody will pick this different, because we also know there's a homer here. So, Brian, who you got? I am also going to take Arkansas on the points. Uh, Alabama's going to win, but uh, just Alabama is, is a team that I think will end up in the top four, but they're not going to be the same team that we've seen before where they're blowing two people out a whole lot, I don't think. Uh, I mean, they've... You know, I think they just they, they know that they have to grind the victory and, and challenge and, and keep the challenge on their defense to to, to do well because offensively, I, I don't know this is a great offensive team. So well, b- before uh, Bill comes on, I want to make a crazy prediction. I don't think Alabama will be in the Final Four. Oh, oh! But Bill, and that's Arkansas, crazy. twenty-eight point underdog to Alabama. <laughs> I'm going I to expect uh, from you, Bill. Say- <laughs> you know I'm going to take I'm going to take my side. Uh, it is a lot of points, uh, 28. We're not the best in the world at covering spreads, large spreads. However, I think Arkansas's first team quarterback uh, maybe even actually out for the game, and uh, he got beat up a little bit last week. And I don't think Arkansas has any defense uh, whatsoever. So uh, you got to roll with the tide. And I'll just tell you this, I think Georgia is the best team in the SEC. I think they beat them in the championship game, and it would not surprise me if Auburn surprises them before that. The, the thing about I can't quite figure out about Alabama is, and this is not unusual, it, and, and it being one of those years where I think they're good enough to beat people, but not always convincingly. And so, you know, although you score, you know, 66 points against Ole Miss, you come back the next week against A&M, and you have a chance to put them away and let them creep back into the game. And so it may be one of those years. Uh, going into the season, before we played a game, I thought very, I thought we would lose the game this year. Um, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure now. I'm not sure. I think they make the Final Four now. But I do think Georgia's a great team. All right, the next game. Baylor at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State favored by 25 and a half, Brian. Yeah, uh, take uh, Oklahoma State points. All right, Bill. I'm going to be boring and go go along, too. I'm going to take the points in this one. 
Well, don't worry. I'm not going to be boring. I'm going to take Baylor because on mybookie.ag, I've made a fair amount of money over the last few weeks taking Baylor and large point spreads. So <laughs> I'm going to go with it again and see what happens. Um, the next game, we got the Missouri Tigers, who are god-awful, at Georgia, mm-hmm. who Georgia is favored by 30, Bill. Yeah, i gotta go with I got to go with Georgia. I think they score at least uh, – I think they, they beat them by at least 30. Um, if all those two to form, and once yeah, again, Georgia by team half time at least. That, yeah, I think so too. So I don't think it's a game at all. I think it's an easy pick, from Georgia. All right, Brian, I'm going with Bill. So we're being boring. Do you want to jump out of the box and jump on Missouri's bandwagon? Not even at gunpoint. Uh, okay. Yeah, Georgia is really, really good, and they're they're they're. Uh, Definitely a team that's going to be playing for that top four if they're not already in it. All right, the next game we get the Texas A&M Aggies who put up a fight against Bills Alabama Crimson Tide three point underdogs at Florida. I guess I'm starting this one off. I'm going to go with Texas A&M because I almost always go against Florida and then they win. And then last week I went for them and they blew it for me. So it makes no sense why I would pick against them again. But that means they'll win probably if you guys want an easy pick here, Brian. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with you on this one. I'm gonna go with Texas A&M. All right, Bill. And I'm gonna go with Florida because I think uh, it's about time for Texas A&M to come apart at the seams after playing Alabama really tough and uh, playing in the swamp. So yeah, I'm going I'm going with Florida. All right, the next game. We've got the Oregon Ducks at Stanford. Stanford Stanford is favored by ten, Brian. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Oregon. I'm gonna okay. go with Oregon in this. I think I think that might be just a little too high. All right, Bill. I think I'm gonna try the other side and uh go with Stanford. Yeah, and I'm going to go with Bill because, hey, Oregon, I mean, without playing with their starting quarterback, it did impress me how they stayed in the game with the quarterback situation they had last week. So I think they might be able to keep this close for a while. But at Stanford, I mean, Stanford's got a big-time running back. they got a big-time coach. I'm going to go with them, not exactly brimming with confidence on it, but I think they will take this game by more than ten points. The next game, we got the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, Schmitty, at Miami. The Hurricanes are favored by five and a half. Uh, I'm going with Georgia Tech. Uh, that triple option has has caused Miami problems in the past, and, and I think it will again. Is there a team that that triple option hasn't caused a problem? Uh, not really. I mean, some, some more than others, but it right. causes everybody a problem. Bill. Georgia Tech, five-and-a-half point underdogs at Miami. Yeah, I'm going with Tech, too, simply because of that uh, Simply because of that offense. I think Miami's going to have their hands full, and I, I I think Tech wins outright. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you guys, because Miami, to me, beating Florida State and having to do it in the last second does not yep. load well. Their schedule's tough. I think this team's probably going to end up losing three or four games, but I'm going with the Ramblin' Wreck from Georgia Tech. <laughs> Um, next up, final game we're going to pick. we got the Auburn Tigers, Bill's favorite team, minus seven at LSU, Bill. Oh, I'm going to take Auburn. I think that's a lock of the week. I think, I mean, I think LSU is horrible. Uh, I think well, Auburn they're not got horrible, them. Bill. They're just not very uh, good. They're, okay, well, whatever. They're not they're horrible just because you're an <laughs> Alabama guy. If no, they were 11 and 0, and you guys were ready to play. You'd say they're horrible. Well, of course, that's different. Uh, yeah, I just I think Auburn has got a good team and actually a little better than good. They're getting getting dangerously good as we move through the season. So <clears throat> it's an easy pick for me. Yeah, I'm I'm going to Auburn also, Brian. Yep, I will uh, agree with both of you. Uh, I I don't think LSU is very impressive at all. So. Uh, you know, Troy. Yeah, Troy yeah, showed them that. Looked on, they looked better against Florida. Yeah, but I don't have I mean, a we, whole lot of respect for how good I think Florida is either. Yeah, we we were watching the, the replay of that game 
yes, late yesterday morning, uh, just sitting there watching. I mean, it, it, it kind of looked like, you know, two two blind two blindfolded people trying trying to have a fist fight. I mean, it. Neither team really was impressive, and nothing was really impressive about it. But, you know, but it was Brian, what it was. Brian, how bored are you that in the morning you're flipping on a replay of Florida LSU? <laughs> That should tell you everything you need to know about how bored I was. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. We're going to wrap the show up for this week. Any final parting shots, Brian? Uh, not really, no. I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully a decent weekend of college football. All right, Bill? Nothing special. Just going to see Alabama uh, homecoming. Beat Arkansas by 50. By 50 now. All right. I mean, we got a <laughs> point spread then. Yeah, All right, guys, I want to remind that. everybody to check us out on thegruelingtruth.net. You can download our app on iTunes. Just look for The Grueling Truth. Make sure you check out our sponsor, mybookie.ag. Put in the promo code CFBPICS to get 100% cash deposit back. Um, all of our shows can be heard on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, wherever you find sports podcasts, you'll find The Grueling Truth. So for Bill Searcy, Brian Schmidt, I'm Mike Goodpastor. You've been listening to The Grueling Truth, where the legends